to continue and finalize our exploitation to Metasploitable using the SSH. The SSH is a protocol that allows us to connect to a target remotely like RGP or other protocol we can find out there. One of the danger of this is when someone connects to our machine, you see here, I'm connected to Metasploitable machine. It means that I can do everything I want. For example, I'm connected to this machine because of the vulnerability I discovered. So now let's say that I want to change the password. I want to block the administrator to have access to that machine by changing the password. To do that, as I'm connected, I will use this command, passwg. This command will allow me to change the password and hit enter. You see, changing password for MAS admin. This is the username. So I want to change the password. I need to provide the, the current password. All right. So now I need to enter the new password. As you can see, password updated successfully. Let's go to our Metasploitable machine now. And I will log out. Exit. Okay. So now I want to log in. I need to provide the username. I will provide the old password. Unfortunately, you cannot see while I'm typing, but you will test by yourself. You will see that the password was changed. Enter. Okay. You see, login correct. I'm not able to log in to my computer. What I can do, I can only log in here using my current password, the updated one. So let me type. So now I managed to log in using the current password. So this is very important. I just showed you how to change the password. You can use the same commands from, from here. Okay. You can use the same command. This is the same command to correct this problem. Here's the solution type here. As you can see, the solution type, what they suggest. Let me log in. What they suggest here, if you scroll you will see down below this information. You will see here that the solution type, the mitigation, solution type mitigation to this is to change the password as soon as possible. So now we just changed the password. So we corrected this. Okay. And when we run this scan again, this issue will not appear here because we corrected. This is how you correct this issue. See you in the next video.